the problem, main problem that they have in New Brunswick is that, of course, we don't charge real royalties. So when you look at every economic project that they have on board mm. the tungsten mine right oh, everything else that's going on it's you know one percent uh the fracking was going to give back to the province maximum four percent after the companies have recovered the costs mm. that's not even going to cover you know one kilometer of the roads after four years of fracking you don't have anything left once the company recovers its costs right there's only a very small piece of that would ever go and this is what i've always been arguing is that we need to stop this because as great as the environmental risks are, the issue here is that it's going to make New Brunswick poorer. So there's n no argument to say that it creates jobs. It really doesn't create jobs because you're digging a hole, taking stuff out of the ground. Right? Mm -hmm. And so the basic model that they have is this great resource giveaway. We give away the resources. It's a loss to the province, whether it be trees or natural gas or tungsten mm. or gold or whatever. Mm. It's going to be a net loss to the province in which there's nothing coming back. So obviously the New Brunswick economic model is not working, right? You can see that the deficits are constantly increasing, mm -hmm. right? There's a shrinking resources and every single one of these projects that the province has gotten involved in has lost money. So at some point people would say, well, maybe we should stop you know, doing this, the same thing, giving out the corporate welfare, giving out the, any, any tax breaks or anything else to companies doesn't generate anything for the province in the end. It doesn't generate jobs. We're losing jobs still. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Thought crosses my mind. Um, past guests that I've interviewed talked about wanting to help out in third world countries and taking on international law for their training. And all of them at some point turned their eyes back home and recognized there's an awful lot of work to be done back at home. Yep. And so they come back home. Do you fit somewhere in that category? No, exactly. And so my experience was after, you know, fighting corruption overseas uh, and mostly in, in sort of fragile states, conflict zones, um, to come back and see what's going on in the province was my motivation for then starting to say, no, we have to do something here. So for the last couple of years, I've done what I can basically while I'm home is to be able to look at what can change. The The fact is, is that in most third world countries, it's far easier to do that. So I found it far easier to work in Afghanistan where there's a recognition that they have a corruption problem. Okay. There is no mass recognition among the political elites here that there is a problem. They don't see the problem. 